Dziękuję Ci, Jezus. 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 Tak bardzo Ci dziękuję. Tak bardzo Ci dziękuję Ci. Dziękuję Ci, Jezus. Dziękuję Ci, Jezus. Dziękuję Ci, Jezus. Tak bardzo Ci dziękuję. Tak bardzo Ci dziękuję Ci. Thank you so much, Jesus, for your salvation. Thank you, Lord, because you are the real salvation and the way. And everybody that listens to this message today needs to know that you are listening to the most important message that you can ever, ever heard in your life. And this message is about life. And this message is the opposite of death. This message is the message of rescue is the message of salvation you know jesus is resurrected he didn't stay on the cross you know you've heard many times that the, the history about the life of jesus and maybe you have been to churches many times maybe you have been to different you can say religions you've learned about it maybe you know very well the story and how everything happened and you know the traditions, but you haven't had a real relationship with God. Because it's not the same to go to a church, to follow traditions, to, to, to pray, repeating the same thing over and over again. It's not the same like having real salvation in your life and a real relationship with God. Man without a relationship with God, without... A connection with God is dead. The Bible says that all men are born as sinners. And the only way of salvation, the only way is Jesus. He is the only way through we can receive salvation and go to heaven. He is the purpose and the plan, the, the, the plan designed for us to go to heaven and have eternal life. The Bible says that it is established for the man to die once and then go to judgment. To judgment, to see whether you're going to go to heaven or you're going to go to hell. And this is real. It might sound like something uh, like from fantasy, but this is real, you know? And we tend to, we tend to think that we have a lot of time in life. We like to do good things, uh, to have a lot of education. We like to spend good time with family. We like to do good things to help others. And we feel good with ourselves. Because we think that because we go to church, because we confess, because we follow many traditions and do many things, we will receive salvation. But that's not the real reason. All your good deeds, all your good actions, will not give you salvation. It doesn't matter how much you pray the same over and over again, that's not going to forgive your sins. Because there's only one way of redemption from sin, and that's the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross 2,000 years ago. If you believe this, if you open up your heart and believe, and I pray right now so that you can open your heart, open the eyes of your heart and of your understanding so that you can receive this gift that is presented before you. Before you, you have life and death. tradition because of your religion because of your good acts because of your good education because you do nothing wrong in your own understanding that way you're going to receive salvation and that's not the way my friends 
you need to receive Jesus you if you it doesn't matter how how much you have been to how many times you have been to church it doesn't matter how many times you have prayed the same over and over again the real question is have you had a real change in your life have you had a real relationship with God do you really know Jesus are you really sure that you're gonna go to heaven if you die tonight that's the real question that's the real question Jesus is the answer to all the questions Jesus is the only one who can feel the emptiness of the heart of the man and he is for you available you just have to believe salvation is received by grace because it's a gift and it's received by faith because you have to believe it you have to believe it many, many people call us crazy and they look look at us like we are talking nonsense and the bible says that this salvation may sound like crazy to the common man but for those who believe is salvation and eternal life take this eternal life for you today jesus paid the price on the cross not only for your salvation but also for your freedom for your healing oh yes jesus paid the price he was crushed for our iniquity and the the punishment of our peace was upon him and by his bounds by his bounds we are healed Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. He's a good God who designed a plan for humanity to receive salvation. And this is the salvation that you can get today, my friends. Is This is not a coincidence that you are walking here right now. You're listening from the buildings or from the many restaurants we have around it's not a coincidence this is your day of salvation this is the appointed time for you to listen to this message maybe you're not from poland maybe you just came to this country and you are doing different things maybe you study you work here and uh, i don't know about your life maybe you feel like you are not ready to have something serious with god you say maybe maybe later i will be ready to take god seriously but you know what you don't need to be ready you don't need to be perfect it doesn't matter if you are in drugs in alcohol in pornography it doesn't matter how is your life it, it doesn't matter if you have been thinking about suicidal if you have had suicidal thoughts if you have been into witchcraft if you have been into many things it doesn't matter what religion you think you are this is not about religion this is about relationship salvation this is about jesus this is about somebody who came to this earth lived an amazing life he walked on this earth and he did many miracles and he died on the cross like the lamb of god as a sacrifice for the sin of humanity and he died on the cross to give us salvation once and for all the salvation of the man listen again once and for all this means that it's no more sacrifice maybe in the religion you are they have told you that you have to make many sacrifices many confessions you need to take the blood of jesus over and over again maybe you need to take confession over and over again but the Bible says that it's once and for all sacrifice of Jesus. And this is the sacrifice that you can take. Because by this sacrifice, we are saved. Hallelujah. By this sacrifice, we are saved. And his name is Jesus. And in his name is power. Because he resurrected from the dead. He conquered the dead. He didn't stay there, died. He didn't stay there suffering on the cross. No, 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 my friends. He rose from the dead. And with the same power of resurrection, he gave us a new life. Jesus said to Nicodemus, a very well, uh, a man that knew very well about the traditions and the religion and the scriptures. He said to Nicodemus, 
Nicodemus, you need to be born again. Oh, maybe Nicodemus was thinking that he had a great, good life. Oh, he was a teacher, you know? He knew everything. Oh, I imagine how important, well-educated he was. Maybe you think you are the same. Maybe you think you know everything. But I will tell you the same words like Jesus said to Nicodemus. You need to be born again. You need to be born again. That's the only way of salvation. He died on the cross and he conquered the death so that you can get out of that alcoholism in which you are. Maybe you can stop drinking alcohol. Maybe you can, you can stop doing many bad things that you know that you're hurting yourself. Maybe you are doing bad to yourself and you know it. And you, know it. you just can't, can stop that cycle. But there's one who conquered death to give you real sense and salvation in your life. Maybe you are listening to me and you are taking many pills against, uh, against clinical uh, depression. Maybe you are going to the doctor to take you for your depression, to check you, to give you many drugs, many advice, and you, and you don't know how to, how to end up this big, huge depression you have. But Jesus paid the price so that you can get out of depression. Maybe you're feeling all oh, the way changing. It's getting more cold now. Winter is coming. Oh, Jesus, Jesus died for you. But if you do not accept him, you are separated from him. You know? No drugs, no fat, only Jesus. He is the only real salvation and he yeah. conquered, like I was saying, he conquered the dead. He conquered the dead and this that he conquered the dead means that he conquered all human situations that seemed impossible for us. A cancer seems impossible, sickness on the bones, sickness on the nerves, all those things sound impossible. Not even science uh, have found solutions you know I, I, I studied in the university medicine journalism and teaching of four languages and nothing that I studied gave me the real reason I am here because Jesus saved my life and I can tell you I can tell you with all my heart that if it wouldn't be for him because he's real in me I wouldn't be alive here talking to you maybe I will be dead Maybe I will be destroyed with sickness and illness and maybe I will be, I don't know, a, a prostitute, I don't know. But you know, he paid the price for my life. He paid the price for me. He shed his blood for me so I can have a new life. And here you see me, I have a new life. I am not the same. I resurrected the same way Jesus resurrected. She, he, he took me out of depression. He took me out of many sinful life I was, even staying inside the church. I was having a completely wrong life. Because like I said, going to a church doesn't guarantee you that you have a relationship, that you have salvation. Okay, so if you're listening to this, today is the day of your salvation. Cry out to Jesus and say, Jesus, I want to really know you. I am. I don't want more theory. I want the practice. I want to experience you.